This is Twit. Liam Kennedy's back. It's great to see you again, Liam. He's been Good on Cody 101. Stop by our studio, the old Brick House studio. It has been more than a couple of years, I think. It's when been, it was uh, February of 2014. So I almost think sometime, three, more than or, three years. Yeah, I think yeah. a little bit after my Kickstarter. And yes, you and had a uh, Kickstarter for this. In fact, we yeah. have the original ISS above. This is a Raspberry Pi inside this custom case. And it's got a little uh, Bluetooth adapter there and a little bit of software. That's the ISS above. What does this thing do? It basically tells you every single time the space station is passing by. In fact, that was the version, the Kickstarter version. That's all it did. <laughs> Does um, it beep? Is it doesn't even beep. On? It literally just lit up. And uh, <laughs> so it came it's out up. of... <laughs> it's up there. Well, you've come a long way in the last few I years. I have, and I've got to thank you guys for that. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this was on your shelf during a radio show, and you just happened to notice it there. And you said, what's this thing? ISS above. Oh, it's flashing. Is the space station above? And that then, was it? That was it. And then, <laughs> and the uh, rest then, and then people Googled it and found the Kickstarter. Oh, I'm so oh, glad. that's great. And the, that's for, awesome. forever there's been a, a, a discount code for the download image because most of uh, the folks who are watching this, many of them will have Raspberry Pi yep. sitting at yep. home. Doing I'm nothing. Wondering, wondering what they're going to yeah. do. Yeah, so yeah. I, I've software. got several hundred yeah. downloads with coding 101 as the That's as great. the discount code so oh yeah this are is you a, wearing it around your neck this is this is i am wearing it around my neck this is an <laughs> this is an e-paper display uh, version oh that's kind of neat of the so you're actually getting the stats mm -hmm. on the e-ink it's, e it's running a raspberry pi zero look at that and oh, that uh yeah cool. so i i go to uh nasa um sort of events and things and when that happens I uh, I get this out so that I can let everyone there know that, that is the geekiest name badge mm -hmm. I've ever seen yeah and then when I when I'm tired with that I can can you play uh, pong yeah almost anyway oh so it's it, a name it, badge it, it turns into a name badge oh, yeah. I love it here's <laughs> the new kit how much is the uh, current kit so uh, and that's it's ridiculously expensive for those who know how raspberry pis work but then but I make it so it's right. $147 dollars um, but that's and everything. It's, that's, a yeah, it's not it's, a kit it's even. Complete. It's completely assembled. It's just assembled. complete. You switch fact, this it on. Is, this is what you get. It's, it's in a nice it's, case. It's got a mm -hmm. screen. Although that, that one has an LCD screen on it, which isn't the one that I ship. Oh, but, uh, what kind of screen? Do, do you so you plug it into a TV. The TV is the ah. screen. But if you're a geeky person like I am, you know, you've got these LED strips that you can buy. Mm -hmm. And the same software just supports each of them. You, you don't even have to log into the Pi. You, you run it all, you configure it using a, uh, a web browser. So it's blinking so, now. Does that mean something's happening? Yeah. So you see there's a whole load of green on there. That means yeah. the space station is going to come by in less than an hour again. Oh. It just went over at the beginning of the show. Right. And it's passing by even closer. In fact, on this, it actually tells you exactly when it's... Uh, when it's coming Start by, of, uh, the pass will be at seventeen oh five. And then how many? Next pass at forty eight minutes. Forty eight minutes. Forty eight so minutes. That's. Uh, well, I'm going outside now. Why mm -hmm. do I care if the ISS is above me? That's a good question. <laughs> I, I mean, I've devoted, a lot of I've, I've a devoted lot. my life <laughs> to having. Uh, seriously, for the last three years, I've done nothing else. Um, that question: Why should you care? It's the only place in space where there are human beings living. Oh. Your son, how old is your son now? He's 22. 22. Okay, so for 17 of well, those years. Well, I also have a 14-year-old. Okay, so for the 14-year-old, there's not been one day of his life that astronauts have not been passing him by That's neat. five to eight Living times every day. Well, he, Michael and, and I and Lisa ran out the other day because mm -hmm. we heard the ISS was going to be flying above us. Yep. And you can actually see it sometimes with the naked you can. eye. And in fact, this device does tell you that. It switches to a screen saying... This was even in daylight because there's enough wow. sun reflecting off yeah, it Yeah, that must have been just after sunset. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. so it has to be so coming it's a, by. And it's, and it's a bright dot, and it's mm -hmm. moving pretty quick. Yeah. How this, fast is this space? It's station? moving, get this, five miles per second. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, but, he, but he, now maybe I was looking at a plane. It's a, it would look like it was a little faster than a plane going across. It's, the yeah, sky. but it is 250 miles up. Yeah. Well, it's so, not going far. It's not like that. No. But it's going it takes like, about kind of eight, like that. eight minutes from when you can right. first see it until That's right. it goes by. Now, does your wow. software tell you where to look in the sky? It does. Yes. Tells you where to look, when to look. 
um, this is the display live as it's going that you by. Would see on your so screen. the next pass that's coming by, we're in the blue the blue cross at the center of the screen. Okay. And that so I'd that, look that, to the northwest. Yeah. So it's uh, and this one isn't going to be visible again because it's uh, it's during daylight. But right. you will see live video. We're not seeing live video at the moment because it's currently in darkness. The blue part of the orbit is dark. Oh, so they only turn on the camera when they're in. Uh, on, Technically, on the, other side of the, the camera is on all the time. It's just it's running see. 30 frames per second, and it and it's oh. not light enough to see anything. Can't you see so, like the city lights or? The no. So this is a good thing. Just get this straight. All of those great Aurora videos that you see yeah. and the city lights, those are time lapse. Uh, those are uh, taken by astronauts pointing a, a DSLR camera, a Nikon, out one of the windows, and the, each frame is like, half uh, a second. Okay. And then they just put them all together. So rise time, set time. Mm -hmm. The rise time is when it's going to come up over the horizon. Yep. Set time is when it's going to go below the horizon. Precisely. It shows you the direction of movement. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you get that nice graphic for people listening. There's a, a nice graphical illustration of what it's going to, you know, where it's going to go across your horizon. Yeah. So you know exactly where to look. And it, it's, you know, it's been a great adventure creating this. And you know how, you know. How do you get the information? Where's that come from? I steal it from NASA. You Don't tell them. No, that's right. <laughs> they, they, they have a server somewhere <laughs> they, spitting that out? So anyone who has any orbit, uh, any satellite tracker, or even a space station tracker on your phone, we get the orbital elements, they're called. Right. They're updated uh, on various websites. It's really just the elements of an equation oh. that you use... Um, a, a library to say, okay, here's my satellite, here's the data on it, now when's it going to be coming by and where is it going to be? So I it's really, really like this. Now you, easy. If you have a Raspberry Pi at home, you don't have to buy no product. You, you can get the software. You right? can get the software. It's, uh, it's not free. It's usually 30 bucks, but with the Coding 101. That's all right. Or keep using that. We like that. Just keep using it anyway. It can be something different. What would you no, like? Coding 101 is good. What's okay. the deal? It's, it drops it to 15. Nice deal, 50% so, off, bad. that's a good deal. Now yeah. you've also got, I, I noticed in reading up on kind of the progress, like obviously started Kickstarter, mm -hmm. but now like you've, you've got a lot of corporate involvement too, right? A lot of organizations, yes. what are they using this for? Yeah, so some, there are a lot of organizations involved in working on the space station. Um, so um, we're talking about biomedical firms, for instance, who launch experiments. And those firms, some of them, like to have a device that reminds their scientists when the thing that has their experiment on them on it is passing by. Yeah. So you know, we've shipped uh, dozens out to uh, some corporate organizations who then ship them out to their scientists. Oh, very nice. Because um, wouldn't you want to know that the thing that your experiment on, oh, it's just passing you by right now. It still exists. So, and also <laughs> schools. So this is this is the big thing. Yeah. So 2,000 of them are out there around the world. Yeah, this I've is got, a great way I've to get kids excited. I've got hundreds in schools. Yeah. And NASA has now just, NASA CASIS, which is the Center for the Advancement of Science in Space, they've just provided a grant to support 100 new schools getting these for free. So and if I buy one of these, I could just hook this up to my TV. It could be my screensaver. Yep, that I could just is have that it. on there, and I'd get this display constantly yep. of what's going on. A school should have this. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. I love this idea. So next sunrise is in six minutes and 49 seconds. That's when the video will come back on again. Ah. So on the space station. Ah. And do you mind if I do a little plug for an event that's local? No. Tomorrow at in Nevada. In fact, that's why I came up at the space station museum. There's a space station museum in, Nev yes, in Nevada. Yes. Right off the freeway. Like ten miles south of yes, us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and there are going to be a bunch of <laughs> NASA people, uh, retired. NASA astronauts. Oh, when is this? I'm Warden. going. It's from 10 until 4 tomorrow. Oh, the, um, no. I could skip the radio show. That's yeah, fine. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Do it from down there. <laughs> Do it from down there. There you go. The Nevada, okay, you've got it, you've not got Nevada, it up there. Nevada, the state. Nevada, mm -hmm. the town, uh, southern, northern California town. There, I did had no idea. I had no idea that existed. There you go. Yeah. Look, yeah. there's astronauts and stuff. Yep. So they're all going to be there. In fact, several of them have ISS above. I love Bruce that. bought a bunch of them. Um, well, so did Bill so Nye, the science guy, right? He did, yes. Thank you, Bill. Yes, he loves he, his, too. Yep, he certainly does. He's obsessed with it. 
He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's on record in the Wall Street Journal. There he is. He's giving you an ad for it. Wow. Society member. Bill just is a Oh, this is the Planetary Society. Yeah. He's got them. Yeah, he's got them in TVs all around the um, the office there in Pasadena. Oh, that's great. So he's he's an awesome supporter. Thanks, Bill. I love it that we have people. I I didn't really think about yeah. that, but so Michael, people buy Michael's this. Whole life, there's been somebody floating around yeah. up there. Yeah, right. that's wow. exactly it. Um, wow. And it's been an extraordinary journey. I, I really do. I, I, this is authentically here for me that you guys were a very big reason why I stuck to it. Well, thank because you. Because it really I'm does help. That, it really makes a difference. I'm thrilled this is could and, be your full-time job. I think yeah, that's really... Yeah. That's it. I want, I want cool. every school, every student to sort of really be aware of just what's happening at, you know, in space above them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and that's what it's all and about. And I will vouch for the fact that this gets kids excited. Mm -hmm. It really does. They they go, yeah. oh oh, I want to go see it. Yeah, I want to take a picture of it. ISS mm -hmm. above. Where can we go to to get a uh, ISS above? www.issabove.com. No dash in the middle. Just no the, dash the in the middle. Yeah, ISS it looks like it should have a dash. There's no dash in the middle. No dash. There's no dash. Mm -hmm. I hate dashes. I'm and glad there's no dash. You're anti dash. I'm anti dash. Yeah. yeah. And I answer all phone calls, all emails, I do support. What so, is, so if I want to do the LED strip, what is that connected to the GPIO? Where do you it go? is, yes. Yeah. So um, if, you're, if you're sort of a real soldery guy, you can just wire any, um, any of these LED strips that you can get right. from. They're a particular version, but you get them from Adafruit. And you document and, which uh, pins on the GPIO. I can do. Yeah. I will do. Yeah. <laughs> you, must, you must do. You may have realized, I mean, no, I don't right now, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Just it's very put, easy. Put sure it on there. until something happens. Yeah. That's all. When That's it blinks, right. you know you until did it right. Until you have gone poof. I have had a few of those, the, those experiences. There's not enough power in a Raspberry Pi to make it go Yeah, poof, so I... Easy. And this is powered through an external power supply. Uh, that powers both the Pi and the Got LED it. lights. But you can get, oh, get away yeah, with see, one strip. That's clever. Yeah, you can get away with one strip. It'll power one strip. Yeah. Oh. So, and, and, so hold this space for me. What I'm trying to do is to get a big LED strip on the entryway to Johnson Space Center. Oh, that'd be cool. They, they have a road called, uh, right by their Rocket Park. Because I just have this thing that... Look up. Uh, it's up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're entering the place where they run the space station, you know, it would be cool to know that that space station, $100 billion of our tax dollars, um, is passing by. It's coming. 39 minutes. It's mm -hmm. going to be a good one, too. The LED strip told me. Yep, it keeps blinking. <laughs> <laughs> really wants us to know. And uh, and uh, what's the best time to see the uh, ISS? Be pitch dark middle of the night? Is that no, the best? no. So the way it is, it has to be close. To, it has to be passing by so the sun close hits to it. sunrise or sunset. And, yeah, yeah, it's the size of a football field, and uh, it's the angle of the the yeah. of the light from the sun hitting the the solar right. panels. And of course, the thing is uh, that although it's dark for you, the sun has set. Right. It's 250 it's, miles up. It's still on the... And so it can still see the sun. Yeah. So it's a little darker mm -hmm. for you, very yeah. bright for the ISS. But you'll get to see sunrises and sunsets um, by looking at the video stream that I love, plays out. I know. I love that. The video stream mm -hmm. is really cool. We've had it running here. John has had it running here on our monitor for some time mm -hmm. now. I said, what's that? He said, you know what that is. I said, what is it? He says, this thing. I said, what the hell's that? <laughs> <laughs> now Liam's reminding me. It's the ISS above. Yeah, Thank right. you. <laughs> Liam Kennedy, go to issabove.com. Get your very own. If you've already got a Raspberry Pi, and it'll be a fun project for you to do, he'll also sell you the software. Don't forget, Coding 101 is the offer code. Yeah. And uh, 15 bucks for the software. That's mm -hmm. great. It runs on uh, Raspbian or... Yes, it, well, it just, it's, it's an image, it's, a standalone that, it's image. the standalone image, nice. you just put it in, okay. and That's all configuration's easy. done using a browser, That's you never need great. to log in and do any coding, even though it's coding 101, <laughs> 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 rather ironic, <laughs> but there we go, I've done the coding for you. You did, what is it written in? <laughs> what did you write it in? Python, Python it was my very first Python really? project. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Liam, so you're I was inspiration. coding 101, and that's what I created from yep. it. That's yeah, nice. that's great. <laughs> you're an inspiration.